Um, I just had a question about uh, Rempy and the Devils specifically, and you know what's gone on with the last two games and stuff. Do you consider that when you're making your lineup changes, like this may be a problem with, that this team might be getting after him, or do you kind of have to ignore that? I think um, Rempy's done a great job of coming in and providing physical presence to all the games that he's played in, not just to talk about the New Jersey Devils. Um, there was an incident that happened where the league took action. We tried to talk to Matt and teach him, um, you know, about what he's what he's allowed to do and can do on the ice and cap you know. But in the same sense, he's been a really effective player for us in the way he plays the game. There are some games where we feel like you know a heavy heavier presence can be um, needed, and so we've used him in those games. And he's he's done an excellent job and. And that's the way we're approaching it the rest of the season. Tonight, how do you, I guess, balance wanting him to play his game with knowing that they might be trying yeah. to go with him into? Yeah. Kind of well, we're 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 still working through things in the room right now. Yeah. So, um, but when Matt comes back, we want him to play his game. Uh, it's that simple. Yeah. Is uh, is Igor quick in that tonight? Uh, Shesty's in that tonight. Okay. Is 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 Matt a player that when you talk to him? That uh, understands yeah. everything as you break it yeah. down. And oh yeah, I mean, like I said, it's been it's been more than the uh, it's been more than the hit. It was the, the, they really wanted to fight him off the bat. It's been the game. It's been the four check. It's been D zone coverage. He's a young player, and so there's constantly teaching that goes on with him and conversations that happen with him on how to become better at what he does out on the ice to to be an effective player for us. I know you talked about this yesterday. I wasn't at practice. And I apologize for that, but. Uh, Gustav Snyder practiced, and uh, I guess he's in a regular jersey, so he's ready to come back. Will he be here tonight? We're still working through that in the room as well. What's uh, Brodzinski the last week or so hasn't left the line? What's he done that's just made him kind of somewhat tough to take out? Um, he's been, he's been, uh, he's, he skates fast, he makes plays. Um, the line has been effective, um, and so. You know, you guys have hit just about on everybody that, and so, again, I'm making decisions in the room right now, but I, I really like the way that Johnny's played. Um, at some point tonight, I'm going to have to take 22 and get it down to 18, and that's that. I was asking more than that. Yeah, so it was, yeah, no, no, so he's been, the line's been effective. He uses his speed, um, you know, he helps the line create. Um, I think the line has produced some points, and so he's played well. You, you had mentioned, I mean, just to, one more on this topic, you mentioned that, you know, with the forwards, you were going to do some sort of uh, make sure that nobody's sitting around for too long. Right. And you kind of warned us that that was going to be a, a, a thing, too, with right. the defense. Right. Um, is that, you know, with seven games to yeah. whatever it is, I mean, like, do you? I would, you like to, I would like to have players ready for the playoffs. So, yeah. I would like to, get, I would like to have guys um, where they're not sitting out the entire seven games through the entire lineup. And I don't think that anybody should. You know, we, our guys have played well enough that, um, you know, everybody deserves to play. But I, again, I can't. I have, I'm going to have to put only 18 skaters down tonight. How much does first overall mean to you? It means to, to, the, the priority and the focus for me would be to win the game tonight, to play well to do it the right way, to collect the two points, and then move on to tomorrow. And I think if you do that well enough, as opposed to just saying there's seven games left, and if we win this many, if we do this, we can do this, just focus on the game. Just focus on what we're doing today. And do it well. Do it really well. And do your best to get the two points and put them in a the column. And if you can keep that mindset, you might check some boxes of the things that you're asking about along the way. And by doing that also, you're probably going to like the way that you're playing as you went to the playoffs. So what's the biggest test for New Jersey then for you as you've seen them? Their speed. I mean, their speed and skill. I mean, they can, they can be dangerous. Um, you know, we're going, to have to be, we're going to have to be sharp with our game, with the way that we contain them, the way that we play against them defensively. I do like the games that the times that we played them the last couple of times, I thought we'd been physical. And so I think, you know, physicality can... Can, by physicality, I don't mean a big hit. I mean hard on the check, hard on the puck, hard on the battles. 
that type of physicality. I think that that goes a long way to trying to contain a team that is good off the rush, is, has high-end players, has high-end speed and skill. I think that we've done a good job of playing them that way. Given your recent schedule, is there a difference in your approach when you're playing, let's say, a top 10 team versus when you're playing a desperate team that is trying to stay? Like, is there a difference in style that the other team might be bringing that you have to be aware of? I think the style goes to, I can tell you that, um, <coughs> you know, um, trying to come up with two teams here, uh, Florida and the way that they play the game might be different than the way we play the game, but yet we're both top 10 teams. Or, um, you know, two teams that are in that playoff race down below Detroit might be different than the way Tampa plays the game, and they're in that they're in that battle for that wild card position. We try to play our game. We emphasize the things on the opponents that they bring to the table. I mentioned last game I thought Pittsburgh was going to be a heavy game, it was going to be scratch and claw out there for ice. It was. I mentioned today that I think today's going to be fast. It's going to be trying to make sure we're doing the right things defensively. Those are just to bring awareness to the opponent. We're trying to play our game and make sure we're doing the right things inside of the way that we play the game with attention to detail about the opponent. So it's more about style of the opponent rather than their desperation. It's more about us. It's more about us. I think desperation definitely factors into it, but top teams also have that. That's why they're top teams. And so I think you get it both ways. You'll get guys that are you know, sitting in the, the ninth spot right now, their desperation level is high. And I think you also get guys that are uh, teams that are top teams in the league. They're just doing it because they want to, for the same reason I said, you want those points, you want to continue to win as you push towards the playoffs. And so back to the back to the old adage, there's no easy games, there never is. When, when you talk about like getting, making sure guys are ready and fresh for the playoffs, with some of your top guys, like, do you consider as you're in kind of this final stretch where you're clinched, like, Balancing out the minutes a little more so that they're, I guess, not getting worn down going into the playoffs. I think I don't. I don't know if you know we're playing every other day now. There's plenty of opportunity for rest. I don't know if somebody going from 22 minutes to 19 minutes is going to be a huge deal. Um, we're going to play the game to win the game, and then we'll we'll get the rest that we need in order to be successful in the next game.